Hi, so in this video we're going to start talking about long multiplication. And long multiplication is two or three digit numbers multiplied by two or three digit numbers. Uh, there's two different methods. The first method that I'm going to show you today is going to be the formal method on this video. And then on the next video it will be the grid multiplication method. So the first one is the formal method. So let's say we had a sum which was 183 multiplied by 35. Okay. Now the way to do that is to recognize that the 3 and the 5 are both units, the 8 and the 3 are both tens, and the 1 is 100. And we write that in a column in much the same way that we did the short multiplication, uh, column addition, and column subtraction. So we write that as 183 multiplied by 35. Okay, now the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to multiply 183 by 5 units. In order to do that, we've got to really ignore the 3 in the tens column. Okay, now um, you've got to be quite disciplined with doing these and make sure that when you write down the numbers, you write them down in the correct column or decimal place. So, 3 times 5 is 15. I'm going to write down 5 units and then the 1 10 of the 15 I'm going to carry and put a very small mark in the tens column to remind myself that I've carried that 10 over. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm multiplying 5 times 8. Well, 5 times 8 is 40. But I must also remember that I've got 110 carried over from the last time. So I need to write 41. So I write down the 1 and I carry the 4. OK. The next little bit is still ignoring the 3 of the 3 tens. It will be 5 times 1. Well, 5 times 1 is 5. And then I have to also add the 4 that I've carried over. So that would be 9. And again, I've made sure that I've kept all of the numbers in the correct column as I'm working through the calculation. I've now finished with the 5 units, and I'm going to start multiplying by the 3 tens. Now, in order to do that, I need to write a 0 in the units column, because I'm not going to be multiplying by units anymore. I'm going to start multiplying by three tens. Now this is where it can get a little bit confusing, so the best practice would be to get rid and block out these numbers that you've carried from before. Okay, so three times three is nine. So I write down the nine and I haven't got anything to carry over. So it's that three multiplied by this three here and I'm ignoring completely the 5 of the units column. Then I've got 3 times 8, which is 24. So I write down the 4, and I carry the 2. OK. Then finally, I've got 3 times 1, which is 3, plus the 2, which I carried over, and that will be 5. And again, I've made sure that I've kept everything in the correct columns. So what I've effectively done is I've multiplied, at this point here, 183 multiplied by 5, which is effectively short multiplication. If you look at one of the other videos, it will show you how to do short multiplication. So if my question had just been 183 times 5, I would have been able to answer that as 915. However, I've also got the 3 or 30 to take into account. So the way I've done this is to work it out really as short multiplication, so 183 times 3, but I've put a 0 on the end. So this little bit here is 183 multiplied by 30. And then if I add the two together, 5 add nothing is 5, 9 add 1 is 10, 9, 10, 14, 6. So the answer to my question is 6,405. 
that's a long multiplication using the formal column method and if you want to have a look on the website then you should be able to find some of the learning sheets to practice this particular method and particular way of doing things. If you look at the next video that will also give you the grid method which addresses exactly the same calculation but just does it in a slightly different way.